good did it feel to, to check in the other night and hear the crowd? Uh, I felt good to be back. You know, I've been waiting for that moment for since since the day I went down. But just felt really good to be back for Vaughn Nation and for my brothers. When was the first time that you kind of decided you were going to be back for the season opener? Well, it really, it really wasn't my decision. It was really on the medical staff and, and what they were telling me and how my testing was going. So it was really on those guys. If it was up to me, I would have been, I would have been back the day on start of the I guess, but, sorry. But it was really up to them. When you got hurt, though, was that kind of your, your vision was being able to be back for the season? Yeah, yeah. That, oh, right away, I was just thinking, like, if this year is over with, next year I want to be back for sure. Whether it's the season opener or, or within the first week of the games, I want to be back. Z, how do you balance the frustration of being pulled and only playing 13 minutes but also trying to be a good teammate and support your guys? Yeah, well, at the end of the day, my those are my brothers out there. We go through war together every day, whether we're arguing with each other or we have having laughing and making jokes. Uh, I love to see them win out there, and it just felt good to, to see them back out there and, and just see the crowd give us energy and just be, be in that type of vibe. You spent a lot of last year trying to grow as a – Pass first point guard. Just how much excitement is there for that with some of the offensive weapons you have added to the roster? Yeah, it's, it's really good because you know we got a lot of guys that around me that can score. Around we we all around each other that can score. Uh, Santi, DK, those are two of the best shooters in the country. Josiah, really good shooter. Jordan, really good shooter. So it's it's a lot of opportunity for assists, not only for myself but for Freddie and Jamar too. So it's it's really good to have those type of guys on the team and just around us. What's the plan over the next month for, for you as you kind of work back into game action? Yeah. Well, the plan is really just on the medical staff. And I'm just listening to them and whatever their ways are, I gotta I gotta follow it. Whether no matter if I get frustrated or not, I gotta I gotta learn that it's my body first, and my body is the most important thing. So whatever they tell me, I'm just following. Physically, did you feel any different after the game opposed to how you feel after practice? Uh. Not really, because I feel like I've been building, building up to be able to play in game situations. So going out there, going, building up to going to the game, I felt really good. Has yeah. the impact that Jordan's made kind of surprised you at this point? Uh, no, not really, because what you guys see, we see every day. And he's been, he's somebody that's been around. I've seen him work out multiple times, even before he came to UT and decided that he's going to be here with us. Uh, so I've seen him working out, and I've seen him in the open gym, and I always knew his capabilities. So. It's, it's no different than me now. He just got the same throws given to What has Dalton added the most to the offense? Yeah, well, he's a he's a he's a threat in all three levels. He can, whether we want to play small ball, we can play him at the four or five even because he's he's a tall guy at the end of the day. So he, he's just somebody that that can step out and shoot it. He can play inside. He's just a all around three level threat, and it helps us out tremendously. What did the ovation mean to you when you stepped on the court for the first time? Yeah, it, meant, it meant a lot because. Uh, people were saying it to me, asking me how I feel like if the crowd stood up or uh, and gave me like a loud ovation, and I, I honestly didn't know how how I could picture it in my head. But when it happened, it was just a, a really good feeling, and it was, like I said earlier, it was just it felt good just to be back in front of everybody and being able to play. Can you get that steal, dribble down the court, lob it up to, to JP? Was that just a all right? I'm out here doing what I do again. Yeah, pretty much something like that. But it was, it kind of reminded me of a little bit of the Texas game, even though I didn't come up with a steal and throw a pass or anything like that. But just that energy, it just gave me a quick reminder of something like that. And just to tell everybody, like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm back on the court. I'm here. I'm still, I'm still me at the end of the day. Going back to Jordan, is he pretty similar to Justin? Like, what are their personalities like, uh, good and bad? Uh, I can't, I can't really say if they, I can't tell if they're similar, but Jordan, he, he's hilarious. We, Everybody on the team, we joke every day. Like, like, like we said in the last couple of media days, we have a really good team. But I can say, I can say in ways they they are they are kind of the same. Cause Coach Gamey, he he is a lot funnier than people think. <laughs> He's a lot funnier than people think. So is Jordan. So Kai, you, you've been here for a while, but have you been on a team that was this deep or there's this much competition for, for minutes? No, I have not. Because like like when I was sitting on the side, I was always saying to myself like. I got to get back out there. I got to figure out how how I'm gonna be a, a big piece of the team because we got so many so many guys on the team that that whether I'm out there or not will be okay. So it's, it's it's great it's great to have more because last year uh, I, I I wouldn't say we didn't have enough, but last year we didn't have as many weapons as we did this year. So I I guess it's better to have more than have less. What does that say about the program that it does year after year kind of continue to grow in depth and competition? Uh, it just shows the type of program that we are, that we just keep building over each year and we just we just 
plan on getting back and getting better every year. And we don't we don't go off of what we did last year. We just go off how we can get better. Do you mark as a Rick, Rick said that Josiah called you the heart and soul of the program. It's, it's me to hear that from, or just to hear that, but from somebody like Josiah that's been around. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good feeling because, you know, the size of the fact he's been here for a while and he, he's my brother too. So just to hear him say that and the team go along with it and, and clap for me and just cheer and, and be okay with that, it meant a lot. And it just showed me how much I really mean to this team and, and my delight to me. Anything else? Did you get to pick the song? Pick what song? When you checked in the Nah, I didn't. It's on clear. It was just too many people clapping and cheering. I couldn't, I couldn't really hear it. I couldn't hear myself. Thank you.